Thomas Badger Ward, tune in the Sport and Icons. Thomas Patrick Ward, how are you? Uh, not too bad, how are you? Oh, not too bad, thanks very much. How's life? Yeah, it's all right. Keeping good, keeping yeah. good. Oh, cool. You keeping yourself busy in this quarantine? Yes, as busy as I can be. <laughs> as busy as I can be. I mean, um, still doing my runs and, yeah. you know, I'm doing a few pad sessions and stuff with my brother Martin and yeah. a bit of bike riding and stuff like that there. Just trying to keep occupied. Oh, nice. But, so how, how is Martin? Not bad, not bad. You know, we just... Um, like I said, just doing what we can with this quarantine, trying to get by and through. But as long as we all stay fit and healthy and safe, I think that's the main thing. Yeah, exactly. The, re the reward is your life, isn't it? At the end of the day. Exactly. Yeah, definitely. Exactly. How are you keeping anyway? All right. Yeah, yeah. You're not too bad. I'm just stuck at home and Netflixing. <laughs> <laughs> aren't we all? Aren't we all? Yeah. Although I did get myself a punch bag. I started off with the bright idea of doing it. Yes. Yeah, um, I'm not as committed as, as I thought I was going to be. <laughs> <laughs> it's routine, isn't it? It's the routine, I mean, because when your routine changes, you just it's hard to get back in, isn't it? Yeah, 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 it really is. It really is. Are you keeping in contact with uh, Lewis Ritson and uh, Fannin? Yeah, yeah, we you know, speak now enough well, every, every day, every couple of days, anyhow. Yeah. You know, um, cause like I said, it's not, just, um, it's not just boxing, you know, the... The lifelong friends and there will be even when boxers are there so right. you know, we, we talk about not just about box talk about other things and that they you know we life things and that so yeah we keep in contact all the time oh great and uh, how's lewis getting on all right uh, he's just the same as myself i think i think getting a bit bored of the quarantine and wanting to fight and wanting to train but yeah. um like i said it's not just it's not just affecting us it's affecting the full world and it's um you know it's killing people in it so it's a bad thing so like i said as long as we stay safe and safe and sound and family and friends is all right i mean what more do you want that's exactly right that's exactly right so what about uh neil um because um, I mean, he works as well doesn't he yeah i mean obviously he, he put us on making things out there in, in, in his yard and that but again thankfully he's got a big enough big enough base that he does everything at home you know okay. so he doesn't really need to um to leave for much you know he can he makes and build stuff outside so and he's just surrounded by his own family they all live together so yeah, you know he gets to see his uh, family and it keeps him keeps him a bit busy and he's better work on that there. So he can still put around and do what he needs to do um, from from his yard. So he's doing okay. Oh, that's brilliant. Now I've been doing like like um, every time I speak to like other fighters. I think I told you this before, but every time I speak to the fighters, especially here in the northeast, they always say, "Tommy Ward, he's definitely going to be world champion. Definitely going to be world champion for sure." <laughs> uh, I was hoping it was coming this year, but it doesn't look like it. <laughs> <laughs> have you got an opponent yet? No, I, I did have one. I, um, I was fighting some Mexican, obviously, for the 4th of April, but but yeah. um, obviously, with it getting put back and stuff, and I don't know how things are going to plan out with it, so right. I'm, I'm not too sure at the minute. Yeah, because got I'm moved. Not too sure when the next fight is going to be and who's it going to be against. So, you know, but we, we'll, we'll get there, we'll get there in the end of it. Yeah, you're still penciled in for the matchroom show, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. I mean, all that when Lewis Richardson fights, I'll be fighting and all that. They'll, they'll all be going ahead. Um, yeah. But like I said, just it, it depends on when it's going to go ahead and you know what's what's happening basically with it. But yeah. Um, you know, obviously, all all fighters have got to get back into the gym, have they? Back into the training camp and you know, and all that. There's got to happen, hasn't it? And this has got to be over before anything happens. So you know, it's um, it's just a waiting game, really, isn't it? Well, that's the thing. I mean, I know it's difficult, but you got to try and keep to like uh, your uh, camp weight, haven't you? Yeah, I mean, that's, we've got um, like I said, we're still staying active and stuff like that. So, still staying busy and active and stuff like that. But like I said, if, if the the level we're fighting at and the the people we're fighting now, we obviously we need a proper, you know, a proper routine, a proper training camp. You know, training from home and then probably jumping in and fighting is not going to be a good idea, is it? No, I think. Um, obviously, we need our work with Neil. Obviously, we haven't been working with Neil for. Or like the past couple of weeks and stuff like that so you know all that there needs to all come back together and things just need to go back to normal um sure. but i'm uh, like i said i'm staying fit and ready anyhow and uh, when the boxing does does start to resume if any of the world champions is out there looking for an opponent you know the more than welcome because <laughs> the phone call and I'll, I'll be more obliged to oblige them yeah well you're number three in the world now aren't you yeah, 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 yeah. So we're getting there. Yeah, <laughs> we're getting yeah. there slowly but surely. Like I said, I hope it was this year, but 
I mean, it's probably going to knock us back maybe six months. I would have thought that's if things go go well and everything, and the, you know, the lockdown stays locked down, and it, we get rid of it and we can uh, go back to normal. So, yeah, um, you know, what I mean, like I said, it's not it's not the biggest deal in, in life, is it? The biggest deal is like, like I said, as long as everyone's fit and healthy and stay well, and exactly. all that there, all that matters. Exactly, but I mean, at least with the boxing, I mean, you've still got what a ten odd years left in boxing, haven't you? Oh, definitely. I mean, for me, I'm 25. I'm, I'm hoping, you know, 10 years of, of a good career. Yeah. Um, obviously, it all depends on how, how the career is going and how it pans out. But for myself, my plan, yeah, I've got 10 years left. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. That's it. I mean, with, with the champions, like I never had here now. Um, are you his mandatory now? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm, I hope so. <laughs> I <laughs> yeah. want to be anyway, but if not, we'll get a final eliminate and we'll, um, and we'll get mandatory for us. Yeah, because I heard that, um, was it, it was either you or um, uh, Phil Jeffrey said uh, something along the lines of uh, that um, he could be moving up in weight or something? Yeah, no, it wasn't me, no, I, um, I never said that, I think, I think he said it after one of his last fights, I think, okay. uh, he was planning on moving up the, to the featherweight right. um, division, um, so I mean, if he does, obviously the title will come vacant and then hopefully me and, I think there's, uh, that's, Fulton, I think he's called. There's, I think there's an American there, something like that, or, or there might even be two. Like that, that Angelo, no, is it Leo, Leo Angelo, someone like that. Okay. I think he's about there as well. So, um, hopefully, like I said, me and one of them can get it on and, and fight for the title. That would be really good. Well, the fact that uh, you've said before that um, you're quite willing to travel if necessary. Oh, definitely. I mean, traveling doesn't bother me. I mean, uh, like I said, obviously, I'll. I'll it would be now better to bring the world title back and fight for it here in Newcastle. Mm-hmm. You know, that would be fantastic. Um, like, obviously, when Lewis Risen's on the bill too, I mean, the, the, we can sell out the Metro Arena, or if even if he gets a big fight, we maybe even move to St. James's Park. Um, so, yeah. you know, that would be, that'd be great, fantastic. But, I mean, uh, yeah, if the show's is on in America or wherever we've got to be, I'm more than happy to, to jump on the plane and get myself there. Yeah, well, if it does happen at uh, St. James's Park, for example, for a world title, you have to make sure that uh, you're wearing the black and white, along with uh, <laughs> <laughs> the Jaffrin uh, fan. <laughs> yeah, um, it might be a bad idea coming out the red and white, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant. So what is the um, ambition then? Um, is it to win a world title first and foremost, and then unify the division, and then um, like, like a move up at some point? Yeah, I mean... Uh... That, that's it. My me, me main focus is obviously winning the world title. Everyone dreams of fighting and winning the world title, so yeah. that's my main one. And then, but my ambitions, oh, you know, the shoot for the stars. I am. Um, I want to go on to unify the division. Then, um, fight the likes of I think the kid called MJ, who's just won that WBA and IBF. He beat Daniel Roma. Oh yeah. You know the likes of him and Vargas. You know, fight fight the likes of them, and then move up, step up to the featherweight division. Uh, like capture another world title if I can and, and fight the likes of all the champions in that weight and then you know move up again and we just keep on going and seek the biggest and best fights out there for as long as I can be be at top be at the top of the game and be in the sport that's that's the main thing um, a fight that I'd really like um, and if, if he moves up would be that the, the Japanese kid as you call the monster who, who boxed Tane he's really really good oh no way yeah, Nanui, um, you know, if he jumps up fight, an, an, another weight, I mean, that would be a cracking fight. That, I mean, you know, these are the kind of fights I want. They're the, they're the kind of guys that are the best out there and they're the best in the division and they're, they're really good fighters. So yeah. I believe fighting the likes of them will up my game even more and, you know, you'll be for cr- uh, cracking fights, make, make for good fights. Well, I mean, you've already proven that uh, you're best domestically. You know, you've been <laughs> the likes of like a Jazza Dickens and who's getting like a good... Um, a good bit of momentum at the minute. He oh is, yeah, he's and, flying at the minute. Flying at the minute. Uh, the golden contract. Him and Walsh will be next for the final good fight. Um, I believe that he win the win the tournament. We we thought he would at the start, to be honest. So yeah. he's getting on and he's doing well. Yeah, that's it. But I mean, we, I mean, is that like a fight um, that that uh, you'd like to rematch one day, or maybe look at like a uh, Gavin McDonald or Jamie or something like that? Yeah, definitely. I mean, yeah, of course. Um, I think they're all featherweights now anyway, aren't they? So oh, once yeah, I, okay. yeah, once I do me, um, once I accomplish what I need to accomplish in the Super Bantamweight division, then step up the featherweight. Like I said, if I'm, if I'm fighting for world titles and winning world titles, um, 
obviously my plan is to move up the featherweight and do the same but I mean the likes of them fights being there well, yeah they'll be obviously be great fights as well won't they you know and um, it's good for British boxing too so definitely. yeah definitely well the one thing though that um, uh, was it in the interview when uh, um, I interviewed you Jaffa and Fano where it said that uh, once you become world champion Fano's is going to retire so like a double whammy for you isn't it you'll get joy with sadness <laughs> <laughs> No, I mean, um, in my opinion, I don't think he will. Um, yeah. Obviously, he hasn't had a world champion yet. Um, he's had every other champion. He's won. He's won from Northern Area, British, Europeans. Like he, you know, he's fought for world titles, but he's never had a world champion yet. So, I do believe he wants that before he does retire. Right. Um, but the fact that I mean, like, if I go out and win a world title, you know, say the end of this year or middle of next year, mm-hmm. I don't see him. I don't see him like saying, "Oh, well, that's it." You know, mm. I, I I can't see him saying that. So, you know, I think I think he's got another couple of years left, whether he's uh, world champion or not. But yeah. you know, uh, hopefully, like I said, win a world title for him, and he can when he does retire, he'll accomplish everything he wanted to accomplish in, in being a trainer. Well, it'd be nice for him, for you and Lewis to get a world title, wouldn't it? Before oh he yeah, off. definitely. Yeah, and uh, with with like a Phil Jeffries, you keep in contact with him. Yeah, yeah, I've made him share a few WhatsApps on again. Phil, <laughs> Phil's funny. I like Phil. <laughs> yeah, he is. He is. So, um, I like uh, Tony as well. You know Tony well. Tony Jeffries. Yeah. I, I like. I do know him, but I don't know him. As, like we, we don't like we don't we don't speak to each other on the phone or the exchange. Like uh, if we're seeing places, we have a bit of crack. But yeah. Um. Obviously, he's a bit more older than me. I think he was around like when my brother Matt was around. That I used to see him at the shows and that then, but. Obviously, I haven't seen him for donkeys now, to be honest. How's Martin? Is he is he, is he still thinking about making a comeback? Uh, obviously, he hasn't spoken out since, since the lockdown, like, so I don't know, see how he gets on, really. But um, obviously, he did want to, but yeah. maybe I'll just knock your back a bit, bit, bit further as well, so. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, definitely. But I mean, who else do you look at around, like, the North East? Do you think, you know what, they could be a world champion? Well, obviously, there's Lewis Ritson there. Yeah. Um, yeah, I can always say with the North East, with the boxers, I think, you know, there's some really, really good fighters out there, really talented guys, but, like, it's just getting the opportunity to, to, to fight and and get on the big stage and fight the likes of the, you know, the so-called names. Because um, I think most of them will beat most of them. But um, it's just getting the opportunity for it, isn't it? And the way it's going now, though, the big boxers going back to the North East, so they should, they should get on it and start doing it. So what about you for a world title at... Uh... So the stadium of light with uh, Lewis Ritson on on your undercard, what do you reckon? Sorry? What about you fighting for a world title at uh, the stadium of light with Lewis Ritson on, on your on your undercard? How about that one? Yeah, that would be fantastic. <laughs> you know, obviously I've boxed in the Summer Rumbles in there and then they're, they're all good shows, but they would be better if they moved it to the middle of the pitch so you can get that, that surround atmosphere. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And obviously, Lewis will have to bring his Newcastle fans to Sunderland. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, you know. But no, the, you know. The, see, the thing is about about boxing is, um, you know, with the football teams and that, there it doesn't really come into it. You know, the North East supports the North East when exactly. it comes to the boxing. You know, you've got the Newcastle, Sunderland, Middlesbrough. You know, all that there. They all come together. Yeah. And they're all our like, boxing shows together, and they you know, they're cheering for the for the local lads. So yeah, you know, that, that bring, like I said, bring, brings them all together. You know, so it so, so unites them. Yeah, um, it was a Troy, um, Troy Williamson. Um, <laughs> I was speaking with him like a couple of days ago, and he was saying, saying like the same thing. That's yeah, um, it does because like I don't know. Obviously, the thing is about football. Obviously, the rivalries, the teams are playing rivalries. But with boxing, you know, it doesn't like I said, it doesn't matter where you're from in the northeast. You come and you come and support the land from the northeast, and mm. you know you, they all get behind them. So, uh, like I said, it's, it, 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 it unites everybody. You know, there'll be crowds from. Newcastle, Sunderland, Mills were all together, mm-hmm. you know, and there's no, there's no trouble there. They're just all cheering for the, for the local lad. Yeah. Well, the, would you be like the first champion from like uh, your area? Yes, I believe so. I think I'm, I think I'm the first British champion from, from Durham, anyhow. To be honest. Yeah. Yeah. Cause yeah so, so, uh, uh, Glenn McClory, where's he from? Is he from like Gateshead kind of area? Isn't he? Yeah, I think he's from like New, yeah, New, Newcastle, Gateshead way. Yeah, and uh, Stuart Hall was he Middlesbrough? I'm not sure. Um, Darlington 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 yeah yeah no that'd be a great achievement well I mean you've already achieved because you're like a British champion haven't you yeah, yeah I mean like I said I think I'm from the first one from Durham to win a, win a British title um, 
But yeah, to go on and win a world title anyway, it'd be absolutely fantastic. Yeah, hopefully you're not the last as well, eh? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's the most important thing. No, I do miss boxing, though. Um, You're missing, like, the pad work and the sparring and all that kind of stuff? Yeah, just missing it all. Just missing it all. I mean, um, you know, everyone says, oh, it's nice to... Do you know what it is? It sort of give you a look of, like, sort of retired life, you know, because you're at home and, you know, there's not really much you can do. Right. Um, You know, and it's nice. I mean, it is nice because you get to spend time with family and kids and that there, so it, it is nice, but... Yeah. Oh, it's boring. <laughs> it's boring. So you know, like you said, for them, ten years might be might be fifteen years. Who knows? <laughs> yeah, I, know what I mean, look, have you given much thought about like um, what you do when you retire for like a bit becoming like a boxing coach or anything like that? Yeah, I mean, um, obviously, I haven't really thought much much yet because obviously I know I've got a long career ahead of me. But yeah. I mean, in the future, I would like to maybe open a gym and you know maybe be a manager or. You know, something like that there to... Because I've been around boxing, obviously, all my life since I was five. I started amateurs. I was in the gym, so... Yeah. And then going through all the amateurs and the pros, like, you know, you learn the circuit, don't you? So, yeah. um, with all that going on, I like to bring, obviously, with the experience that I've, I know from the amateurs and the pros, and then I like to teach it to the up-and-comers, or, mm. like I said, be a manager and manage them in the right way, make sure they look after properly and, you know, they get the right fights at the right time, and... Yeah. You know, because obviously you've got the experience there, you can, some of the experience you, you learn from, don't you? So, I like yeah. to teach people all about that. So, I'd like to have my own gym and maybe do something like that, yeah? I mean, that would be great. Would you encourage, like, um, um, your own kids to take it up, even just for fitness? Well, I have a, I have a little boy, and um, yeah. he, he does, I bought him to Berkeley Gym where I started with Graham uh, a couple of times. They only do, like, uh, every Tuesday and Thursday. Right. But, I mean, um, you know, I bring him. Because he asked to go, I did bring him in, and he, he enjoyed it. And then I stopped bringing him. And, right. he, you know, he sort of forgot about it a bit. And then he, he kept asking, oh, I want to go back to the gym, I want to go back to the gym. So I brought him again. And then, so I'm just, I'm on and off with him a bit. But, like, I want him, if he wants to do it, I want him to do it. I, I'm not going to, I'm not going to keep bringing him to the gym. So it's something that he does. I just want, I want to, if he asks to go to the gym, I'll bring him. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So it's one of them. But, I mean, yeah, obviously, if he wants to do it, I'll be more than happy to support him and, you know, teach him everything I know. And, bring him along but um, it'd, be, it'd be up to him you know what I mean yeah so definitely he's got to, obviously the main thing is people's got to want to do it so as long as he wants to do it he's, you know he can, he can go ahead with it what's well, in your blood though isn't it <laughs> yeah yeah a little bit yeah so I mean I think I think he will you know I think he will he's only young at the minute he's only five so yeah um, I think he will and he keeps asking about it he keeps watching videos and stuff now as well and stuff and he's, he's been on watching that Tyson Fury and that <laughs> You know, he's uh, he's been doing some funny things lately. To be fair, so I think he will. I think he will. But like I said, he's uh, he's, he's got to want to do it. So it's amazing. You mentioned Tyson Fury there because uh, he picked you to be a world champ as well, didn't he? Yes. Yeah. 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 But like I said, um, you know, I've got the ability and skills to be one. You mm -hmm. know, I definitely I won't believe that, and I reckon I, I really do believe I will be one. But it's just obviously getting the right opportunity and and the fight at the time. You know, so. Yeah. I mean, boxing is just one of them, isn't it? Anything can happen in boxing. Yeah, Anything can happen in boxing, so. That you is just very have to, true. Uh, take it once about a time. That is true. I suppose the main thing is that uh, you enjoy the process as well, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. You do. But, I mean, what is it about getting punched in the face and punching somebody else in the face that you like doing? <laughs> <laughs> it's weird. Uh, yeah, it is a funny one when you say it like that. I'll punch you, you punch me. You think, no, no thanks. <laughs> it. It's just everything about it, you know. And then you go out there and you, and you, you know, everyone's watching you and it's all eyes on you, and you're doing, you're entertaining everybody, you know, for that forty minutes or fifty minutes, however long you're you're in the ring for. Yeah. And, um, it's, and it's just you know, when I'm in the ring, you're just you're at home. You're, you're comfortable. You're in your zone. You just you love every minute, everything about it. Love every minute about it. So. You know, it's just, I don't know, it's just one of them, really. I took a, I took a liking to it when I was little, and I'm, I still do it now. <laughs> no, that's good, though. But, because when you was on the um, the MTK show, um, um, I went into your change room before your fight, and um, I've never seen a boxer more relaxed before a fight than what you were. <laughs> uh, it's just something you do every day, isn't it, really, to be fair? I mean, obviously, when it comes to fighting, obviously, there's winning and losing uh, than, than sparring, you know, sparring and sparring, but... Yeah. Um, like I said, it's not as if to someone, now if someone has come to you and said, right, uh, me and you was fighting now, you know, you'd probably, you know, think, oh shit, you know, right. but, um, 
it's something that you're training, you're used to doing, you, you, you're preparing, you know that it's happening, you're preparing for that day, so yeah. you just go through, the, go through the motions, think of it all and keep it um, keep it together, innit? Do you study your opponents, do you, or, or do you just do what you do? No, I know, um, I leave that to, to Neil. Okay. You know, they, they study and watch and, you know, he just brings it into me, to my, to my training, so I just concentrate on me and do what I've got to do. So who's like, um, your inspirations in like like a growing up who do you who was it that uh, you were looking at thinking i want to be like him do you know what it is you know when i was obviously amateur i, I, I never really knew that about the pros when i was amateur i did used to watch them i used to watch a couple of fights because obviously my brother martin then started watching them and that there so i used to watch a few fighters but like you know i never really took much interest in them so as an amateur i just watched all all the all the best of fighters really you know at the time and that there was cubans and russians and, and ukraines yeah. and Obviously, Britain had some good ones as well. Yeah. But, um, and then, obviously, as I was getting older, and I realised that, like, oh, I'm not going to do this and turn pro, and then I started watching the pros, and just, there was there's just so many good ones, you know, about. So many good ones about. And you got there. Uh, I used to watch them all, really. And just, you know, every day used to be somebody different. <laughs> every day used to be somebody different. But all, all, all the top boys, all the top legends, and that. Yeah, that's it. So, the super fight for you then would be Inoue? Yes, definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Would you be quite happy to go over to a, like a Japan, or do you want to bring him over here? Or I'll be any. I'll be, I'll be happy with any because it's just for the fact that like that fight excites me because he's good. He can punch. He can box. He's a good fighter. So, mm. like, why wouldn't you want to fight somebody like that? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. That's that's the way I look at things. Not like as a fool. It's going to be a hard night. It's an exciting night. It's going to be an exciting fight. It's you know something that you can really really look forward to yeah that's the thing because whenever i um am i hear like uh, other other fighters talk about a new they always seem to like they give the impression that they don't want to fight him yeah i can see why i can see why you know like i said he can box he can punch he's, he's a very good fighter but like why wouldn't you want to fight a very good fighter that's that's why i look at things why wouldn't you want to get in there and fight the best yeah. At the minute, like that's that's what he is. He's one of the best at the minute. He's you know he's flying. Yeah, so he and and then you can look back in your career and say at that time I fought well I fought him and he was you know he was one of the best at that time. And like with pound for pound, for me, I I only think about winning. I don't think about losing. So beating so, someone the likes of Nanui, yeah. it'll skyrocket you to to like sort of his position. So like I said, everything about that fight. Why why wouldn't you want to fight him? Yeah, that's very true. Very true, actually, yeah. Well, there was talk about him potentially fighting like a Rigondale or something, weren't there? Oh, was it, yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, obviously, because okay. I know he won a world title back at Bantamweight now, hasn't he, Rigondale? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. so um, I think I've seen him know he'd be too, too young and fresh. Yeah. He was one of the, the good amateurs I used to watch a lot of as well. Oh, yeah. Um, but, like I said, I think he's just a little bit, a little bit worn now. Um, yeah. Done fantastic as well, done fantastic in his amateur and pro career. No, that's it. Well, I think uh, Nanui would be too, too young and too fresh, and, and he's too much from at, at this time. I suppose it's a good time to be like a super bantamweight, night, though, isn't it? Because um, in your division, um, the division ab um, above you, the, the division below you, there's like a lot of big, exciting fights for you all. Yeah, I mean, if you go for them three divisions, feather, super bantamweight, and bantamweight. Yeah. If they all mix in with one another, you know, you're fantastic, isn't it? You know, uh, unbelievable fights there. Yeah. So that's what you want. Are you with Eddie Hearn now then, are you? No, I'm not I'm not signed with him. I'm still with Matt um MTK. Okay. Um they're me they're me manager side of it. So but obviously they work with obviously match room and stuff like that. So we got on um that show with Eddie Hearn and that and then um, obviously he was promoting it so it would it would have been a very good show, but you never know. Like I said, he has that um I think he gets called MJ that the other kid would be Daniel Roman he, he has him so I believe he signed with uh, Matchroom or the Zone or something like that so there's another fight that hopefully they can make happen and you know we see how we go on that'd be fantastic but I suppose um, first thing is priority is keep yourself fit and then um, get... yes everything, everything back to normal fit and ready and ready to go again as long as everyone stays safe and healthy that's the main that is the main objective at the minute Exactly right, and if everybody body just uh, keeps their uh, social distancing, this thing will be over in no time. Well, that's it. Yes, yeah, yeah. If you get you get the ones that like to, uh, you know, to see a nice summer day and they think they get themselves down to the beach, <laughs> <laughs> it's not the, the time for it. You know what I mean? But yeah, 
Exactly right. You know, some, some people just don't listen. Exactly. All right, Tommy, I appreciate your time. So, um, um, obviously, take care of yourself and your family, and um, I'm sure that we'll be catching up again like, like a real soon. Yeah, I'll speak to you soon, man. What's what are you doing? And you, be mate. Safe, take, take care. And you, take care. Try that.